this is the Lotus and Chris show. This gorgeous breath of fresh air to my left is my gorgeous and amazingly smart wife, Lourdes. And I'm more excited than the desert in a rainstorm. <laughs> that would be exciting. I know. Can you imagine, like, if there's a rainstorm in the desert, how beautiful that is? Well, here's the thing. We live in an area where we get we get kind of droughty every year because oh, yeah. of it. And, and everything goes brown. and mm, eh. Yeah, dry and crispy. Dry and crispy and just ready <laughs> for a fire. But if you were to come by after a few days of rain, holy Jesus gorgeous. crackers, this place just lightens up. Yeah, like all the mountains are just green and they gorgeous. They are green. The flowers all bloom. Yes. Uh, birds are singing. They are now, too. But you just don't hear them <laughs> as much without that when everything's brown and yellow, yes. is what I'm saying. And this is my crazy, loving understanding uh, hubby named Cristobal. That's right. Oh, wait, wait. That's what my mom calls you, Cristobal. Uh, Christopher. Chris. I go by Cristobal. Yeah, Cristobal. That's fine. Chris. Cristobal. <laughs> That's uh, bueno. That's bueno. Yeah, yeah. Bueno. He's learning a little bit of Spanish because you know my mom. My mom is really. My mom does speak English, but it's she's more fluent in Spanish. It's a it's a work in progress. Um, and yeah. and and there are times where I have to walk away from it because well, this <laughs> will try and coach me on a word that I'm not saying right. And gosh darn, my my widow tongue just does not get it. But you know what it is? It's because sometimes he's trying to say it too fast, and you can't say something fast when you're just learning it because you'll lose some of the the inf on some of the sounds like you know so like if it's got a th it's got a th like a the she's over here trying and to say, I talk to you fast but the re the fact of the matter is that she talks fast all the time so yeah but when you're speaking a language that you no longer usually don't speak you got to slow it down or it doesn't come out right i'm going to see be like como esta muy bien y tú el gusto es mío <laughs> no. until i get it until i get no, it no i mean like like you know, there was a word that I tried to get you to say, and, and it's like I a can't th. I can't think of one right now. Ugh. Th. Well, it's, th. Th. Is, is simple. It's just that it's almost like a D, but a silent D. Like it's and so when she says it, it sounds like a D. And so I try to say it with a D, and she gets like, no, it's th. And I go, well, I. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, 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 like you say tita. Tita. See? Well, you see. See? Tita's easy. Right, but it's still a, it's still a T, and you're doing it with a, like a TH sound without going tita. Even though still, yeah, I don't know how to do it See? wrong. Oh, I guess in English I would say Tita. Tita. <laughs> Hello, Tita. And then he sometimes goes Dita. See how it wouldn't sound no, like? No, I never have said Dita. No, no, Dita. right? So why don't you do that when it, when the other ones have a T and there's a sign and you can't do it, right? There you go. It's just supposed to be where it is in the sentence. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Anyway. No, before we get started on tonight's episode and, and explain why I'm more excited than a desert receiving a final, finally getting some rain, is that we want to thank our, our, our good friend and partner of the show, Dr. Newsom. He's our in-house doc, uh, medical doctor. He's and extraordinary. Yeah, that's the word. When, if it you... comes to, when it comes to Dr. Newsom, mm -hmm. you have to put extraordinary with it. I'm sorry, but that's what that's what the case. Yeah, the, no, it, it, it's synonymous. Yes. Yeah, if you, Seriously. If you yeah, go to the thesaurus, look up extraordinary, <laughs> and there's Dr. Newsom. Yep. <laughs> yes, we love him. And, and every one of his products that are extraordinary, amazing, like him. So definitely go there to drnewsome.com yeah. or naturals newsome. Newsome's natural. New, new, look at me in my backwards. Newsome naturals.com. Yeah. Yeah. And if you use promo code Lordis and Chris at checkout, you do get 15% off. So if you're already a, a believer in Dr. Newsom's products, uh, take advantage of that promo code while it's there. So you do get 15% off his order. And if you've not tried Dr. Newsom's products, now's a chance because you will get it at a little bit of a discount. That 15% off will get you a little bit closer to feeling healthier and happier yeah. in life. And enjoyable. And enjoy we use this stuff yes. literally every day. Always. Yeah. And, and as protocol that we're recommending to people, we actually will direct them to Dr. Newsom because he is, in fact, a practicing medical doctor. That yes. is his thing. Um, and he does a great job. Yes, like, he does. Seriously. Yeah. No, he, he actually sees patients on a, on a regular basis. And oh, yeah. yeah, he does, you know, you, you do. Actually, you get to know him so, even more so because we are going to do a story on him. Yeah. We're going to do an episode really soon with him. So can't wait. Just you hold on to your britches, people. We're getting yes. we're getting more Dr. Newsom up in here because oh, yeah. we want to be extraordinary just like he is. Yes. And we also want to thank those of you that have joined us on the Lordis and Chris Show dot com. Uh, we do appreciate you coming by and saying hello. We say yeah. hello back. We're like that. We're friendly folks. And thank you for sharing the link to the show, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, 
or at Rumble. Yeah, you know, it's 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 so incredibly helpful if you share or, or like follow, like and share. That share part really does help more than you would even imagine. It's a it's a fast and easy way to help us out with what we're trying to do here, which is a mission to get the world's conversation turned around when it comes to health and comes to health. for mind, body, and yeah, spirit. Yeah, we want you guys to take your, your power back. I mean, we lost it down the line, you know, through things that occurred mm -hmm. and the way things started shifting and being controlled. But it's time that you have control in your own life when it comes to your health, when it comes to your life. It's really important because you'll be amazed how powerful you feel and how many more things you achieve when you're feeling healthy, when you have taken it into your own hands. No, we've said it, our, we've said it many times and it bears repeating though, that your health is kind of like that first domino. If it knocks down, everything else starts to fall down the wayside. And, and anybody that's dealt with it, anybody that has a severe injury or severe illness, yeah. You know exactly what we're talking about because that one thing that that severe whatever that serious whatever knocked everything out of whack and yeah. you know it and it makes it hard to even literally do anything in your life right when you're feeling miserable it's hard to achieve anything it's hard to even do the simple things you want to do right right so so, so if you haven't gone on to lordisandchrisshow.com yet you need to do so all of our previous shows are on there you can check them out Plus, we have pages devoted to the products that we absolutely love. Of course, Dr. Newsom's on there, and the Root Brands is on there. Root Brands is on there. The uh, Dr. Um, Paul. Paul. And, and I have to say last, and we're just going to leave it at Dr. Paul. His products, which, by the way, amazing the as well. And water and, uh, yes, and the EMF protection. Yes. yes, all that's there as well. Um, again, you know, we, this mission has brought us closer to all these individuals who are also out to make a difference for people's lives yeah. and like attracts like folks. That's the way it works. We're mm -hmm. a bunch of magnets out here and we're just banging into each other at this point. Yeah, so. and, and not just that, I, I love how many people who have been getting on these uh, products, these supplements and stuff to supplement their bodies when it comes to health, because our food is very depleted that for them, when they reach out, mm -hmm. right. And they talk about things that they're feeling better on. It really feels good, not just for them, but for us to know that now they're in the right, you know, on the right road to recovery of whatever they're dealing with. Exactly. Exactly yes. right. So um, um, let's take a quick break real quick. Um, I know that we just kind of got started, but I, I do want to get things, some, something set up before we start into the show. Yes. And so give me a second. I'll get that going. And then we're going to come back into why I am more excited than a desert receiving a rainfall finally. Yes. We'll be right back. Super Earth Energy. Super Earth Energy. For nearly two decades, Dr. Newsom was developing this formula. This one. Two decades of his life. Nearly two decades. I mean, that's really make a dedication to giving you the best quality of a supplement that's going to give you not only energy, I mean, it improves adrenal and you know well so so it, it improves your adrenal and muscle fatigue it, it actually helps with chronic fatigue syndrome uh, a compromised immune system sleep deficit uh, brain fog which many are experiencing a low sexual desire i mean this two decades there's a reason he he put a great formula together he formulated and it's just amazing like we love it. Yeah. So here's the thing. It's like I was. We were just telling our daughter the other day. It's not. It's not like it gives you like a, a caffeine jittery no. feeling. It's more like you're just awake. Yeah. Like you know when you were a kid and you right. you you didn't feel. Kids don't get. They seem to not get tired. So it's kind of that. You don't go. Oh, I feel like all this caffeine. It's none of that because I personally can't do caffeine. It right. really it causes me nausea, migraines. I just can't do caffeine. Um, but. I take this and I just don't feel tired. I, like I can spend a whole day really getting a lot of things done and not feel exhausted or I have to take a nap or I still do my meditation stuff, but oh my gosh, amazing. It's because it's giving you energy at a cellular level. Now, all you have to do to get this product is go to www.drnewsome.com and look for Super Earth okay. Energy. We've got that, we've got, we've got it ourselves, but yeah. we should do a little, like still show them what that bottle looks like. And yes. there it is, Super Earth Energy. Right that's right. DrNewsom.com. Yes. DrNewsom.com. In fact, right here, we see the link. Oh, see, now I'm going to put it there. That's I was right. going to put it there now, but now it's going to be there. Well, he can still put it here, but definitely here. It's going to be two places now. <laughs> Super Earth Energy. We're back. back. <laughs> that was yes. That was good. That, that was good. good. That was we, good. We got, we got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you know, um, uh, Super Earth Energy. 
Super energy. This this kind of ties into what we're talking about today. So it's kind of it, it is funny. Kind of like we planned for this commercial to be on Friday right, because, uh, because yeah, perfect uh, way to start it. Yeah, super earth energy. It does it does give you energy at a cellular level. And, and and one of the things that we're the other thing that we're talking about tonight is is how important sleep is and, yeah. and recharging your body. And super earth energy helps you while you're awake, obviously, because it's, it's getting those mitochondria and all of your cells to to power up your cells. Oh yeah, because so, well, you want to have the energy during the right, day, right? Right, right, right. And if you're exhausted because you didn't have a good night's sleep, well, no, and how that's just you, it. Yeah. Super earth energy does not keep me up at night. No, it doesn't. But it does give you the correct amount of energy that you need during the day. Right. And if you have the right amount of energy during the day to do the things you need to do, since you're going and going and going and getting done, then you're ready for a night. Yeah. Get yeah. Some sleep. Yeah. So tonight's uh, tonight's topic, we're talking about sleep and how important sleep is. Very important. And, you know, it's uh, it's often overlooked. It's often Oftentimes, sleep is the back burner of, of most people. Yep. You hear a lot of successful people who will talk about, I get four hours a night of sleep every night because I've just got too much hustle in me. And that's great. That's that's awesome. Yeah, but can you imagine mm -hmm. if they're that good with the lack of sleep, what they would be if they had full sleep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and I have would, they tried it? And and, and speaking from somebody who has suffered from insomnia my whole life, um, especially when you had, had cancer, yep. um, I didn't sleep at all. Yep. Everything. Well, yeah, that is true. In fact, I remember because he didn't sleep, I, I, I used to, mm -hmm. <laughs> when, he, when he used to go to sleep, he'd get to a point where he'd do that pop, yeah. right? And, and loudly, and it drove me a tad bit nuts. Mm -hmm. So I'd turn him, turn him to the side and he'd be fine while he was on the side, but then go back to his back and do it again. So then I'd like slightly pinch him. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> to be clear or to be clear, it wasn't a gentle, hey babe, it was- so I'm trying to wake him up. But when he wouldn't stop, I'm like, I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, turn to the side, dude. I'm I'm trying to go to sleep. And he'd finally get to the side and go tell to sleep. Tell him about the sock filled with nickels. Go ahead, tell him. So can you imagine? Yeah, right. She's the wheeze. I said I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely sleep on my stomach every night. I'd be like, yeah. I'm, your side. I'm not moving. Yeah, yeah. But, but what happened was, uh, the reason why I couldn't sleep, well, first of all, stress. I was definitely stressed when Lourdes had cancer. It was um, the most difficult part of my life, uh, easily. And um, so so what was happening is I was on, on hyper alert. I, I'm, I know this now, kind of looking back what was happening. Yeah. Every little sound, every little whatever, as it is now, I can't hear sounds at night, otherwise I'm, I'm awake. Yeah. It's just something. But I think it's because as, something the way I'm when you got to that point, it was honestly because um, I was so ill. Mm -hmm. I mean. I was barely breathing, so no, you weren't. But it was the first time mm -hmm. that I couldn't wait to hear him snore because then I felt relaxed knowing that he finally got some good sleep. And that was very rare. You know, some people could call my snoring a white noise machine. I'm trying to help you out. No, they didn't put me oh. to sleep at all. But when we were in Mexico right. and um, I was just really concerned. So he was being concerned for me. <laughs> I was really concerned for him because I'm thinking, we both can't end up sick. I mean, I'm already in bad shape, but if he doesn't get sleep, he's going to be in bad shape. And then what? Mm -hmm. So, in fact, if you look at an interview we did while I was in Mexico, and I, I didn't realize it until we, we were reviewing footage later, my, my left eye kept blinking. <laughs> it was from lack of yeah. sleep. And I'm all like, yeah, you know, we came down here to get Lourdes better. <laughs> and, you know, it was it was one of those things. And, and, and it wasn't until I was watching, I'm like, what is it with my left eye? <laughs> well, you know what? So, well, I get that way, like if I haven't had, a, you know, sleep because I'm like running like crazy and I get that twitch. And many people of you out there get it. If you haven't had no sleep, you have a twitch. And then once you got that twitch, it like lasts for like a month. You're like, man, come on. Some people, some people wear the lack of sleep on their face and it's very obvious or lack yeah, of sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're talking like it's twitching. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but I will say that that was the first time when you were in Mexico that you finally, finally got some sleep. And I only knew that because he snored. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... Ah, oh, okay. I think I can go to sleep now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're but, both but now that we're both now that we're both on, on on healthy street, she still jabs me at night to get me to roll over if I start snoring. So no, back to normal, folks. <laughs> Uh, so, so how to before he even can but the, snore. The reality is, we were thinking about what, what show we wanted to do next, and, and and the thing is that people just underestimate the importance of sleep, and and so there's been several studies on this. There's, this isn't this isn't left field. I, every adult knows. I should well, get, I, get a decent amount of sleep. But yes. what most adults don't know or, or they'll argue about is what does that sound like? And a lot of people say, well, six hours of sleep. And it's like, mm, no, that's not. Yeah. Tip, uh, a typical good burial. A lot is, of studies. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's about eight hours. But they say adults, 
could hit, get seven to nine hours of sleep and that's good. Mm -hmm. I always say about eight, you're smack in the middle. If you can get nine, go for it. And for, but as you are younger, teenagers and even younger, they actually need more hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. And if you're five years and younger than five, you really need a lot of sleep. And I think it's because of the growth. No, nope, you're yeah. growing so much. So they need to recharge all that's been going on in their bodies. No, obviously there's there's so many studies that we could point to. And again and again, there's a theme that goes back to it's about mental clarity and mm -hmm. overall health. And and uh, Lourdes would also will also advise people. Look, there's a certain time of night you should yes. be sleeping. It's not it's not so much, well, if I go to bed at two in the morning and I sleep until noon, that's good. Yeah, no, actually the best time for the body to regenerate and gets the most, because you regenerate the whole time you're sleeping, but you get the most regeneration and healing in the body is between nine and 12. Those three hours right there. Mm -hmm. So if you go to bed by eight and you're finally falling asleep by nine, you got three great hours of the most regeneration that you're going to get as you continue to regenerate through the night. Now, I'm going to say this name wrong. Cir circadian? Circadian? Oh, for the, uh, the, um, the rhythm. Yeah. yeah. It's a, uh, uh, is it, oh, was it, sir? I thought it was. Um... Dang, damn it. Now we're going <laughs> to. Let me see if I can find it here. But I think that... Is it Circadian? I thought it was, um, it's, here it is, that circadian. Circadian, circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm. Yes, circadian yes, rhythm. Yes, that. Uh, uh, the, so your body, uh, we're, we're kind of built with this inner clock. Yes. And your body, that's why when nighttime starts to come down, actually, energies shift at night. And if you haven't been, become aware of that, you know, pay attention. You'll notice, yeah, you'll notice. Everything fact, shifts at night, you know. There, there's, and I think it's why between nine and 12, you get the most regeneration because whatever you're doing, if you're sleeping, your body's regenerating, it heightens it. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing like when you're sick and miserable, you're sick and miserable during the day, but for some reason around that time of night, mm -hmm. it heightens the problem. People, if they end up with not feeling so good, their fever is really high mm -hmm. you know, between those hours. They're, if they're miserable and they're achy, they're really miserable and achy during those hours because it heightens it. There's something about that energy, that nighttime between those hours. Yeah. So if you're sleeping and healing, you're enhancing those hours right there in your body of healing. Yeah, and we're not even talking about the the how the different cycles of sleep. No. I mean, you do want to get into a deeper REM sleep. That's yes. the whole point. That's why the eight hours and your body will cycle through those those cycles yep. uh, naturally. And every 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 level does something different for the body. But what they do know is that that there are certain chemicals that are released when you're in that yep. deep of sleep. Melatonin does start releasing on its own as the sun goes down. Our bodies are built yep. that way. If we're perfectly healthy, that's what's supposed to start happening. Yep. Uh, melatonin and serotonin yeah. are all keep you happy keep you keep your mind happy mm -hmm. uh, uh good for depression yeah. things like that well, there's, a, there's also another thing that that your body creates and as your as time goes down you know on and the day goes onward mm -hmm. you you start to get tired well there's a reason because your body's yeah. actually breaking down this very thing so that you can get ready for sleep right right it's so so we're naturally i worked a third shift job um a couple times in my life when i was a younger lad it didn't bother me as much but uh, within a decade no it's been over 10 years now yeah it's been, it's it's been, been a while. type of time yeah. uh, i was working the night shift and and uh, something somebody said something really profound one of my supervisors said to me they can't keep people on this shift. And they go, oh, okay, that's something. Yeah. Oh, so to speak, I didn't stay for very long. It was even a year, but, but, <laughs> that's true. but, but he said the reason why they can't keep people on that shift is because human beings by default should not be awake all night. No. And, and it just breaks people down. People, people will, will start to get sick. They'll start to get yeah. ill. Um, I mean, they need to figure out something differently where everything gets done during the day or during second shift, but it should not continue during the night because honestly, nighttime is meant for sleep. And if you try and sleep during the daytime to catch up, it just doesn't happen. No. You get little chunks of naps. That's all you really get. I mean, that, that was my experience. I, only get, I was only able to nap for a couple hours here and there, but I couldn't solidly sleep no. the whole day. There was no way. No, no, my, fact, my body wanted yeah, to be up. You actually got, well, remember um, Dr. Vasco actually said you, you broke your clock. I did. Because it was yeah. like, you would go to sleep because you just were, he was sleeping like a, hour two hours a day well okay so there's more to that story i was working two full-time jobs at the time yeah and, so but so but that was the same but because of it and one of them was their shift yes so he really wasn't getting any sleep and between that he would go to bed and in a little short time that he did sleep his body would jerk and do all these weird True. things and i'm just like but he was asleep <laughs> and i'm like i don't know if that's a good thing i'm like so i was like no we need to make sure that everything's okay and that's when uh 
went to the doctor and then he's like, eh, you, you broke the clock. You broke your clock. And so oh, we did. just had to let go of that other job. Long story short, we did a prayer, things went well, and he got the job he got and we shifted yeah, that. Yeah, it was, yes, uh, 100% was, true. That's exactly what happened. We were praying on it. We were, we were, we were saying we needed a, a different situation. And, and, it's, it. and it was provided, so I didn't have to. Yeah, really fast. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in short order, actually. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, yes. We're going to show some more Dr. Newsom products because we love that guy. He's extraordinary. If you haven't gotten it by now, Dr. Newsom and extraordinary synonymous. So we'll yes. be right back uh, after the, after we see uh, the next message about Dr. Newsom. Super Digest. Super Digest, one of the most, well, I should say, one of the strongest digestive formulas on the market. That's, uh, yeah. And again, Strongest. this makes sense, right? Dr. Newsom, but now you guys are seeing a theme, right? Dr. Newsom just does the best because that's what he does. And um, when it comes to your digestive system, because that's where you get the most of, you know, nutrition, you definitely want it to be amazing. The top notch. Yep. And this is like 10 types of active digestive enzymes to enhance your digestion of proteins. Protein, fats, and, and carbs, carbs yep. as well as pineapple proteolytic enzyme and papaya proteolytic enzyme. enzyme. Proteolytic. Proteolytic. It sounds like um, an era of dinosaurs, doesn't it? Yeah, proteolytic. <laughs> uh, this dinosaur was found in the proteolytic era. I just like saying proteolytic. <laughs> yeah, that's actually our new word now. We're just going around saying proteolytic. Anyway, it's got pineapple proteolytic. We never had to learn proteolytic until we did until we yeah. met Dr. Newsom, and now yeah. we understand what proteolytic is. It's an enzyme yeah. that actually helps you break down protein. And by the way, and carbs, and you know, you need the enzymes to break down the proteins and carbs and the stuff that you need because that's how you get your nutrition. Right, so and it's, it's well, this one has like yeah. ten, right? Yes. 10 of the types of active yeah. digestive active. enzymes. Active, active, there's a key. Yeah, they're not active sleepy. Digest. They're not sleepy enzymes. No. They're not just like, well, we'll get you. <laughs> no, they're active. They're running they're active. around. To get... 10 types of active digestive so enzymes. So you want to go to www.drnewsome.com, look for Super Digest that my lovely model wife assistant <laughs> is holding. And by the way, we, the products we share, it's because we take them. We're using them. Because we love what it does for our bodies. It's really good. So yeah. you guys definitely, oh my gosh. like it. Yeah. Digestion is crucial to your health, and that's why Dr. Newsom has yeah. created this Super Digest. Yeah, if you, if you have issues with your digestive system, you're going to want Super Digest. That's right. Yep. Super Digest. And we're, we're back. back. <laughs> okay. All right, so so before you know, look, the thing about Dr. Newsom is is the reason why we absolutely love his products is because every one of his products is is directly correlated with how he assisted somebody with something. Which and, is great. And Super Digest is the same. And yeah, Bessie told I us that story. It. If you if you go to the Lord and Chris show.com and you look at our, our previous Dr. Newsom episodes, he did tell us about that story. It was the battery guy, I think. Yeah, and it was I mean, well, is that the one with the super digest? Let me see. I'm thinking of somebody else. No, it was. Were you talking about the the? Um... That's probably a brand that I know. Thinking about it. Yeah, one of one of them. Anyway, but, but everyone, <laughs> if, you, if you were to if you were to like get Doctor Newsom on the phone and be like, Doc Newsom, Super Digest, what's the deal? Why yeah. did you Why did you create that? It's linked to patients that he has assisted to get back to optimal health. And the thing is, man, we can't we can't hit this hard enough. Enzymes are so crucial, people. It's very critical. I mean, it's part of digesting and breaking foods down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how else are you going to get your nutrition if you're not breaking it down, right? right? So it, we can't stress that enough, right? If I have to stress that on every episode, I will, but I won't. So I'm just we saying that. We wind up with them. Oh, we might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. But, but it is, it's that critical. I mean, I don't think we could live without, in fact, we couldn't live without en enzymes. So that's how critical enzymes are when it comes well, to our remember, health. Well, he remember, did, he did specify in that one episode that... Um, um, the certain enzymes in the body will actually prevent cancer and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so well, and not just that. Think about this. Most people get, uh, everybody knows about probiotics, prebiotics. Oh, yeah, yeah, we want this, right? And everybody's like, it's great for your gut. Da, da, da. But one of the things that Dr. Newsom actually mentioned, and I agree 100% because he's right, um, is that if you don't have enzymes first, if you're not breaking those things down and you're just taking probiotics, you're going to get bloated, you're mm -hmm. going to feel uncomfortable, you're going to get gas, you're going to have all these problems because you didn't break down and you didn't have the enzymes first. So enzymes should be first We've before We've had friends probiotics. who tried probiotics before enzymes. They're like, oh. And so they said, I can't they take probiotics. It bothers me. It, it makes me sick. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And like, the problem was, doesn't. yeah, it was that. I mean, they've got great probiotics that you want actually uh, refrigerated, but doing that, you want to do enzymes first. 
You don't just do probiotics and you haven't had enzymes in your system. Enzymes should be done, should be in your diet on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So having enzymes in your diet, doing probiotics isn't an issue. But if you're doing probiotics and you don't have enzymes, yikes. Yeah. And so so before we went on break, you were talking about the the thing that you that you that when the sun starts to come up, your body releases it. It's cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol. Yeah. Um, and that's an energy thing that that so by so by, default, alert. Yeah, by default, it's it's clear we're supposed to be up during the day and active because your yeah. body knows. Um, without you telling it to do, this is just part of your your rhythm. Release this cortisol, get you going, get you, use it as energy, get out there. Which is not just that, even the light. A light, when light starts coming in, with it, that still affects how you're you're starting to come up and wake up. Can you imagine you're trying to go to sleep and there's light out there? Your body's not matching when it's supposed to. To your be. point, scientists have now proven um, that the 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 small amount of light from even your alarm clock or your cell phone can interrupt your sleep mm -hmm. and your sleep your sleep cycle. Yes. Um, so, so it's recommended your room is as dark as possible. Yeah. Um, um, you know, dim your LEDs if you can. Uh, if you, you make it dark, yeah, if you don't need no, it, the side will come up when it's needed. Yes, but that's the point. Yeah. So that's the point. So they now know that to be true is that that even even the light from your cell phone at night, if it's just that little bit, it's it's enough to 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 mess with your rhythm. That's how important good sleep is and a lot of times we go i have insomnia well a lot of times we have that because of all the stuff that's going on and our on in and around our bodies the food we're eating the stress we're, we're mm -hmm. bringing on to go to bed it's just a bunch of stuff going on well, that's why we have to go to sleep we're, we're we're supposed to stop eating at a certain time before we go to bed because yeah, you want your body yeah. to stop breaking stuff down well they always say three hours before you go to bed you shouldn't be eating. right and and so, so yeah, so so but you don't want your body digesting something when it should be just healing. Other 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 key factors that they're finding to be true is that the, if your if your Wi-Fi is on, um, try turning it off with, before you go to bed. You, you're going to find a huge difference. Yeah. In fact, we have a lot of friends even before we even thought of doing this show who advise us that way. Remember, yeah. Mary would say they just turn that Wi-Fi off. Well, I, but it makes sense yeah. because you have so many. You know, we're we we're electricity. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just say that that's why we if we're too drained, right? Like batteries, batteries need water. If we don't have recharge our batteries, our electrolytes, mm -hmm. electric, you know, we it's need electric. to, yeah. It's the reason why you think about it. You can, if it's dry enough and you move your feet on this carpet, you can shock somebody. <laughs> and that's kind of fun. I don't know. I guess to the person who's receiving it, not so much. <laughs> but so my, my point is, is that we need those things and we need to be kind of really look at how the body works, how it runs, and we need, we need that sleep. Yes. Right? Yeah, no, I, I agree. <laughs> I had a and point, but I lost it. No, no, that's okay. So the, so the thing is that that the cortisol thing is an, an important thing to mention as well, because yeah. they have they have figured out that um, lack of people who have lack of sleep are more likely to be overweight, uh, more difficult for them to maintain a healthy weight. Now, let's get back to the health part of this. And they're saying these studies have shown that that if you're not getting enough sleep at night, it's more difficult for you to maintain an optimal weight, and and that's important because you don't want the visco vis, vis, it, well the and, fat and, your lower organs. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, yeah, because you can get a lot of inflammation. Because I would say most most uh, um, gain of weight is inflammation, so you can end up getting all this extra weight from inflammation, extra weight from bad foods. It's just kind of because your body's not regenerating. Mm -hmm. How can it if you're not really getting that good sleep? Mm -hmm. So it's really important, and not just that. I mean, people take pills to go to sleep, mm -hmm. and it's one thing if you're doing something natural like CBD or something, just kind of to work and help with that because we do CBD is, is natural. And again, if you go to the Lourdes and Chris show. When we had Dr. Newsom on last yes. time, he was talking about Newsom's Naturals, which is uh, one of his one of his websites. Uh, he does have CBD on there. Our bodies have CBD. It's one. Yeah, CB. CB, so right. CB, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. CB1 and CB2. And then CBD is kind of like almost like the missing puzzle, actually, right. if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it it's, a, it's, a, it's a miracle plant, really. I mean, yeah, you're just putting things in your body, really. Right. I mean, there was a time I actually read one, this one thing that was amazing. And I'm like, no wonder they slept better and had all these things. That were, you know, mm -hmm. never mind. They have so many, they didn't have electronics back in the day. But way, way back then, um, they had, uh, um, before marijuana plant was ever, you know, legalized and, e and made illegal, it was a plant that they actually would do, not drying it up and smoking, none of that crap. I'm saying they would take it and it was an edible. It was mm -hmm. like, you didn't get high on it because first of all, it wasn't cooked. Secondly, we, they ate it like even in a salad mm -hmm. and the compounds in that helped you really healthy. It, mm -hmm. it, it makes it almost impossible to, to get sick because of the compounds that's in it along with the enzymes and stuff that's in it. Yes, so, but going back to what you were talking about, a lot of people will turn to pharmaceutical sleep aids. Yes. 
um, there's no there's no such thing as non-addictive. Doctors will will tell you, hey, this sleep aid is non-addictive. No, that's not so. If yeah. you if you're requiring it every night to go to sleep, by default, you're addicted to it. it well, and not just that. It it because it's synthetic. Mm -hmm. Synthetics of anything is harmful to the body. It's yeah. the body does not recognize it, so it's going to break down the body somewhere somehow. Yeah, you're. Or your body will steal from itself just to, to try to, to combat what you just yeah, put into it to, because it's compromised. But if you're doing something natural that allows you to go into your system and allow you to go to sleep, very different. You know, eventually you just catch up and you're, you're going to do well, but it's, it's about your, what you're eating. Mm -hmm. If you're eating poorly, your body's so neglected mm -hmm. that it's not going to run right. And if it's not running right, you're not going to sleep right. You know, caffeine after a certain time. I mean, look, yeah. the list goes on and on of what you're doing that, that would cause you to stay well, with artificial flavors and but, colors and on and on and on the, can affect your health. But the famous example of that is, is Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, who famously was an insomniac uh, towards the end. And so he kept having his doctor give him propofol. Now, propofol did put him to sleep, but what propofol was not doing was it was not allowing him to go into the deep REM cycles that he was yep. supposed to be going into. Your body needs to go through those REM cycles. So yes. his, his body was physically shut down and he was not yep. awake, but he also wasn't sleeping properly. So if you're not sleeping properly, you're not healing properly. Right. And, yep. and, and exactly right. And so things would get worse and worse for Michael Jackson. And so he got to a point where he couldn't sleep without it. Right. And that's the part is that if you can't get like, I'll, um, sometimes I take CBD to, you know, get some good sleep, mm -hmm. but there's times I don't only because I'm tired enough. I don't need it. Right. You know, you can't say that about someone who's taking something synthetic that you were prescribed or whatever, mm -hmm. or you got over the counter at a store. Things that are synthetic, again, is synthetic. We're mm -hmm. not synthetic. And so we have to get into the natural realm of things. We need to get into eating properly, yeah. drinking plenty of water, because, you know, when you're drinking plenty of water, that actually gets the body working as well. Mm -hmm. And most people are like water, ugh, but they'll drink tons of sodas and tons of, you know, I don't know, anything other than water. And on top of water, a lot of fresh made juices, but I don't mean like well, sweet juices, but just good juices. I mean, when we come back from this next break, we're going to talk about some of those tips of things that you can do. A lot of them are teas. A lot of them are, are teas that are, that are, built to make your body relax and other tips that we would that we would advise people if you're having difficulty sleeping at night to try and get yourself better sleep so we'll yeah. come right back and we'll we'll talk about that but um we are going to take a quick break yep all right see you there so we'll see you in a bit dr newsom's inflammagon it's powerful anti-inflammatory botanical formula so this bad boy's got curcumin, and he gets that curcumin from organic turmeric root. Yes, which is important, we want organic. And freeze-dried frankincense <laughs> oil. Freeze-dried frankincense oil is uh, boswellic acid, actually. Boswellic. It's boswellic acid. Is, I love is, these words. I know, I know. <laughs> I know we're, 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 our, our vocabulary has been so expanded since we started working with Dr. Newsom. Yes. Uh, you know, and that's that's a uh, boswellic acid is is important because it's it's one of the one of the things that help you. Uh, it it oh, actually it helps with inflammation, but it also uh, is an inhibitor for for tumors. Yeah. So you know. You know, so why not prevent or get rid of if you have one of those things or you don't know you have it yet? Yeah, right. Now. And why just jump ahead of it? Because this formula is bound to Dr. Newsom's unique fulvic acid and humic acid. Which, by the way, those two minerals that you really do need if you want to stay healthy. And it gives maximum absorption and anti-inflammatory action. You, People. You're likely dealing with inflammation. Yes, because most people don't realize that you know, if you end up with certain pains and aches, that's inflammation. Inflammation causes aches and pains to let you know there's an issue. And prolonged inflammation is, is really what causes these, these chronic illnesses, uh, and, up yeah. to and including cancer. So, so we take this as well, and it's amazing. In fact, real quick tidbit, even as a thin person, I always had this little pouch. Mm. But since I've been taking this, I'm like, I must have had inflammation because that little pouch is gone. Goodbye, pouch. No more punch. So you want to go to www.drnewsome.com, get that in anti-inflammatory uh, anti <laughs> formula of his in, in Inflammagon. I love the name Inflammagon. Like it's gone. Inflammagon. Inflam is gone. <laughs> We love it. <laughs> uh, we do. Just, I'll let that one slide. We love it. Uh, we know that you love it too, because look, is. inflammation it's, is something that you really want to work a, work out of your system right now. Yeah, like you, when you, if you want to avoid health issues, inflam when you have too much inflammation, inflammation just creates, and especially if it's consistently going on. That's right. 
It causes diseases, it causes illnesses. Who wants to be sick? And you can trust Inflamagon because it comes from Dr. Newsom. And we, we trust it, we and, trust we love it, it. and we love it. And we take this sucker daily. Love it. We like to prevent. <laughs>
I'm, I'm going to need some scientific proof on this. Yeah, I'm going to have to record it next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You're and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking okay, about. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're all curious to find out the end of that yes. very intriguing story about my <laughs> sleep patterns. Um, uh, so, so some of the other recommendations, like I said, were tea. Uh, our granddaughter absolutely loves chamomile tea. She loves, well, she loves tea in general. Yes, but when yes. we give her chamomile towards the end of the day, she loved it. She started to feel, yeah, yeah. she started to feel a little bit more relaxed, more chill, yeah, ready to go to sleep. Because she's a little hyper. Uh, meditation is super good for sleep. I love meditation, by the way. Yeah, well, we, we, we're we big proponents of meditation. Yes. It's, it's a sort of a mind body connection, and, and yes. you know, Maybe we should do a meditation episode. Oh, yeah. There's, and I like to meditate sometimes with just nothing. And some, and a lot of the times it's a certain frequency of sounds. Mm -hmm. And some of them just take me deep. And I love it because it's in those that I, you know, as I'm going into this meditation and I eventually fall asleep, but it's the best sleep ever, is the, the visions I get in it. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah, I'm working my way there. And I'm not there yet, but I'm working my way there. You get there, baby. <laughs> yeah yeah so 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 um you know uh, i i i went to um i guess that she was a yogi i guess technically marcy oh yes and oh, i yes. and i said that um um i you know i tried meditation i said and it just for some reason and and she's like don't overcomplicate meditation it's not it's not that complicated just focus on your breathing and yeah. and just relax and if thoughts come in say thank you to the thought and let it go on its way it's that simple yeah. it's just about being still uh, yeah, and, you're, and, and if you don't feel like saying thank you because it's an odd weird thing to do mm -hmm. just ignore, you know you see it you hear it you see you know whatever and you just let it go on you don't focus on like i'm seeing that house or i'm seeing that tree or right or i have this thought about yesterday's argument just don't stay focused on that mm -hmm. focus mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. your breathing you know mine are mine are my thoughts are often of that time in fourth grade where <laughs> why did i say that to that teacher geez it was so embarrassing anyways I digress. Um, such a nice. But, uh, you know, it, I, I've dealt with insomnia, like I said, on again, off again. But lately, I'm not having that much problems with it yeah. because we, we, we've we gone to uh, some CBD. We've used some CBD that's helped me. Yeah. Again, I don't take it every night. But yeah, because there are... there's some that, that I think is just, it depends on the person. Each person is different. Absolutely. I need very, very little. I do too. And there are some people that take like the whole it's a little small gummy thing mm -hmm. or whatever. I have to take like a tiny bite. Well, that's what I need. Melatonin works for me for one night, but if I try and take it two nights in a row, it actually wakes me up, oddly enough. And I think that's yeah. because your body already gives you melatonin. So yeah. for me, so, it gives me a headache. And, and then and the headache follows yeah. that, that sleepless night. So I can't so. do, yeah. And I, and I mean, I have, my sister takes melatonin. With, or no, my sister actually, my younger sister actually says she gives a headache too. But my mom takes it, doesn't give her a headache at all. Um, our daughter Christina takes it. She doesn't get a headache at all. So some people take it with no problem, but I just can't. One of my earliest bouts of, my, of of insomnia is when I moved out from home after high school, and I and I just couldn't sleep. Just couldn't sleep in this you house. Home. I did. Yeah. No. I, I I'm aware of that. Yeah. Um, and what's funny is that growing up, I never needed a fan or anything like that. But then someone advised me. They said, "You need put put a fan on. Put just put the white noise on." Mm. And I thought. Mm. But ever since then, I sleep with a fan on because I need the white noise. You know, I think it's funny. And so I, I grew up with noise. So when we lived out in Illinois, mm -hmm. there was, we lived you know, down the hill from us. There was the train that would go every night. And it'd be this very long train, but it actually put me to sleep hearing mm. the train tracks. right? And by the time it was done, I was knocked out. So when we moved from there, I couldn't sleep because there, the train wasn't there anymore. Mm. So I would put the fan on, but I would put the fan on in the window, even if it was winter. And uh, yeah, and it was so freezing cold in the room, but I'd be under those blankets and I slept so well. Her ice water for almost my morning. No, it was great. I, that's how I slept. So anytime you came in there, you could like see her breath. <laughs> she froze pipes in the bathroom. <laughs> no. no Exaggerating. So, so, but there, but there are, if you just go online, there are plenty of, of, of tips and tricks for people to, to, to fall asleep. Uh, yes. Try one thing. If it doesn't work, don't give up. Try something else. Don't resign to, to insomnia is what I'm yeah. saying. Oftentimes yeah. they, that we know in this day and age, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to be concerned about. And so it's mostly your thoughts getting in your way for a lot yes. of people. Um, and, so that's and, why and, I recommend and, meditation. And to stick to things that are, you know, natural that your body can work with. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then exercise was the other thing that we found. People yes. were saying that if you if you give yourself strenuous exercise during the day, yes. your body will naturally want to regenerate and sleep at night. So Very so true. if you can get yourself on an exercise program, that will assist with your with your sleep as well. And yes. I'm not saying that you have to go live to Buick. We're, <laughs> we're not all Dr. Newsom looking Volkswagens here, people. But but you know, 
even walking is like this sort of a, a way of, of, you know, a, a good distance is a good way. Oh, actually distance. walking, and I learned this when I was fighting cancer um, uh, from this do natural doctor that I went to see, I think he went back to India. He was awesome, by the way. And one of the things he was saying is that walking was really important because it actually stimulated your lymphatic system. That's right. Yeah, so I was like, oh, so I would walk daily. Mm -hmm. And I also did that little jumping trampoline thing because I helped to like it, it squeezes out toxins out of the cells. So the point of tonight's episode really was just to make sure that everybody understood that your sleep is much more important than, than I think a lot of people want to give it credit yes. for. It's not something that it's not something that you should take for granted. Uh, and if you're not yeah. getting good quality sleep, then then you should work towards that as far as like trying different things to get yourself back on track because we're mm -hmm. meant to sleep seven to nine hours a night. Yes. Uh, you know, split difference eight hours yeah. minimum. And if you're younger, even more. Even more so, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, because your body does regenerate at that time. Your body, in fact, if you notice when you're feeling sick or ill, you want to sleep more. There's a reason for that. It's because yeah. you, that's when your body wants well, to actually it, it heal. heals. It heals while you sleep. Right. And, you know, if you're having really a hard time sleeping and you can't find something, you know, whether it's CBD or whatever, something natural that try, you should try even chamomile. But when you're in bed, and your mind starts going, this is what I do when my mind starts going, because I know I've got a lot of things to take care of. I tell myself, I can think about that tomorrow. I don't need to think about today. So then I immediately either start counting in my mind or focus on one thing and stay focused on that one thing. And even if it's repetitive and I let myself go to sleep. Yeah, but you know when that Charles Bloomquist when I was in sixth grade pushed me and in the front of the whole class and he laughed, I really should have reacted differently than I did. She did not have cried and ran to the teacher. So anyways, so anyways, so that was that. So so we do thank you for joining us every Thursday yeah. at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because that's when the Lotus and Chris show is on. That's our commitment to you. We are out to change the conversation with health uh, yes. when it comes to mind, body, and spirit. Um, so that's why we're doing what we're doing. It's clear that this is our mission and we're moving forward with it every week, uh, one week at a time, every yep. Thursday night. Um, and thank you all for the donations you are giving. It really does make a difference for us. She we, jumped the gun. I was talking, yes. going to talk about the Lord and Chris show. That's where you can make donations. Yes. Uh, thank you for those. Of the, I always jump the gun. Monthly. You, you tend to do I that. I do that, yeah. Um, so <laughs> we thank you for those of you that made the monthly uh, the monthly pledge to, to do, donate every month. We've actually thanked you personally, but um, um, we still want to publicly thank you as often as we can because yes. we are in such gratitude for you yeah. for doing that. And if you want to donate yourself, you can go to the lordandchrisshow.com. There's two places to donate. And when you go to those two places, they each one has different places that you can use to actually donate. Yeah, There's so if you're PayPal. a PayPal guy or gal. Yeah, it's on one of those. We've got, um, or the, the, it's PayPal, and then you can use your own debit off that. Or Google you Pay. can go Google Pay and, and the second one. And um, oh, my goodness. Right. Yeah, anyway. Oh God, it's there. It's there. Um, Square or something. Square. Square right, 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 right. Yeah. So they are there, and um, and uh, and we also want to thank Dr. Newsom. Um, so again, go to drnewsom.com, um, investigate the man. You'll be you'll be just as thrilled and and realize yeah. how extraordinary he is, just like we have. Yes. Uh, he, on drnewsom.com, sign up for his newsletter. He does send out stuff about recipes and uh, even master classes that he teaches people. Uh, he is going to get you on track. That's the, follow yeah. his advice and get there and and look at his products. Use promo code Lordis and Chris at checkout. You get 15% off. off your order, and that's on drnewsome.com and Newsom's Naturals. And definitely get his books. He's got he's got two books out right yeah. now. And all about health again, and it's so good. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, educate yourself. So yes. so educate um, yourself. Educate yourself. So so we do want to thank <laughs> Dr. Newsom. And if you haven't started following us on social media, it's it's you should because it's kind of a no brainer, really. Yeah. It's just a little clicky, clicky, click and yeah, click, share, say hello, say hello, and say hello, say hello make comments, share with others. Honestly. A lot of things that I learned and knew where to go is because people shared. If people wouldn't have shared, I wouldn't have met the people I met. I wouldn't be here alive today if people didn't share. And what do we always say about yeah. that? And you just never know who you're going to save. Yep. You don't know who needs to know the thing that you know. So that's the that's yeah. the whole point of sharing and, and, and spreading the good word. Yes. So uh, we're going to see you in about a week because every Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's when we're going to see a new episode on the Lord and Chris show. <laughs> You will. You will every week on the Lourdes and Chris show at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you see us talking about something new about health. All right. <laughs> so thanks again for joining us. We absolutely love you. And uh, thank you for, for making this possible for us. Thank you. Thank you.